on this windy and cloudy day here in El Paso, I decided to whip out my brand new planners. I've got my 2016 planner from uh, Lily Pulitzer, and this is the Wild Confetti one, the, the jumbo. It's like the size of your standard notebook. It's 8.5 by 11. And this is in comparison to my last year's. This one was the Wild Confetti design, and I don't remember the name of this one that I got for um, my 2015. But you can see here, I really like the pink and blue theme, and this is pretty similar to last year's. This one is more navy with pink. This one had some of the lighter blue like the, I like with the, the pink for my brand colors. But I also got this 2016 planner. It's got a lot of, it's like a little workbook um, actually and not just, it's not really a planner per se in the sense that you have the calendar days like I have with this uh, Lily Pulitzer planner here. But it is something that gives you a lot of inspirational planning ideas for people that are creative and entrepreneurial and I thought that this was really a good idea to get in conjunction with the planner where I'm going to be mapping out my events and you know my days and all that stuff for the year so I'm really excited to get into this uh, planner and I've got uh, all of my little pins. These are the ones that you can write on photos and stuff and it not bleed through the page. But then I've also got my trusty Sharpie markers and I have some fine tip Sharpies uh, as well. But I am looking forward to throwing out the old year and putting in the new year. <laughs> I got this one. Actually in August is when these start because they're academic year but somehow I managed to miss the announcement again. She's got some little folders in the front. She's also got some stickers here that you can use to put on your notebook pages and everything has got a theme for the month and they're so colorful. I, um, I really like how you start out with the entire month here and then you go to the week behind that one monthly view and so then you've got tabs here for each month you also have a nice little area as your to-do list here for each month with the two little monthly calendars before and after the months that you're currently in and I love the fact that these it's not the same each month so you get a little bit of different design every time you flip the page and then you have a huge area for note taking which are full size sheets and they've got such a pretty little pattern here there's several pages here in the back now the thing that I did prefer about last year's planner I had the front folder was actually white so it stood out I still have plenty of the stickers left over and I really enjoyed from last year's planner that I don't see incorporated in this year's planner is before you get started with your actual planning months here she's got a planner's note page that you can use to kind of jot down overall what you think for the year there's also reasons to party so there's all, all of your main holidays are listed on, on one page here and you've got some dates to celebrate broken down by the month you've also got your uh, 2015 calendar here at a glance as well as the 2016 calendar All I thought was pretty cool where she's got the holidays and horoscopes I'm not really into that but I just thought it was pretty neat I'm a Taurus by the way so anyway here is the sticker area oh look okay so yeah it does it's kind of the same thing so you have your 2016 2017 page then you've got some dates to celebrate that you can fill in here personally looks like she's got an adventure here so that you can put any kind of traveling plans some packing list information so that is sort of similar doesn't look like it has the horoscope but this year it looks like it includes a page for you to have maybe two pages of your numbers and addresses so yeah this one has the horoscope page whereas this one has an area for you to put your numbers and addresses which for me will be more useful a lot of the stuff that I didn't get to use from this a previous calendar I'm going to pull out and put into my new one here such as the additional note pages that I didn't get to use up and then the stickers as well I'll get to put in there 
going to be making a couple of little paper clips for my planner to get myself started out just right and I'm going to be using a little bit of washi tape and you can use any pattern you want. I just grabbed these two because they were handy because these are just going to be really quick and easy. These got some little owls on it and this is some chevrons. And then I've just uh, grabbed a couple of pieces, different ribbons, some of my pink and blue colors to go with my binder. So I'm going to get started with some different ones. I also um, incorporated some little buttons. These are just one shank button. You can use regular button. You can hot glue these if you prefer. And a little shank button with a smiley face and some little sunglasses if you're a beater and you've got some spare wire around which I do then then I might just wire mine onto the paper clips or just use your handy dandy hot glue gun the first one I'm going to do is my uh, little blingy button here I'm going to put that on blue because that little button is drying in the glue I'm going to make another one let's see these little sunglasses I think it'd be really cute tape here on the chevron I'll just do the plane with two pieces of ribbon and this is actual glitter ribbon little teeny tiny ribbons that I can put on this so now I'm just going to use up some of this other ribbon this little smiley face flower onto this pink paper clip so I'm gonna come in here with this longer piece of wire and the only thing I did any differently here was just kind of went ahead and did a wrap on both sides instead of doing one side at a time. I don't know if you could see that, but see where I've got, I went underneath the paper clip and through the hole and pulling it through on the other side, which is something I didn't do the last time. I just wrapped around each side of the paper clip and didn't go through to the other side. I 
did how these little paper clips turned out. I did just a few so that I'd have a variety for my new planner. I have some little colorful owls, breast cancer awareness ribbon, and then a little teeny tiny blue and white polka dot, and some chevron and owl themed washi tape. Then over here I have a little pair of sunglasses on kind of a striped paper clip and a glittery red button and then my little pink and blue colors that I did together have both colors together there and it's sparkle-tastic and then I had one of my little blinky buttons that I wired onto there and then hit it with just a little bit of, of jeweler's glue just to be sturdy and then this one I didn't have to put any glue on. This one I just wired on the back. And it is a cute little smiley face on a flower in my pink and blue colors. I forgot to show you my little Minnie Mouse paper clip. So there they are, my little paper clips with my planner, my Lily Pulitzer, and then my workbook, really, from uh, Lisa Jacobs over here on the right. So I've got plenty of little marking materials to flag certain pages. Excited to get in here and start filling up all of my little months with planning ideas for my jewelry business and my classes that I'm doing over at Michael's. So I've got the monthly view and then as you flip behind the month you've got um, some more spaces to where you can write out for each day. So I'll be getting into the meat of planning out my year. I guess I'm always going to have a fixation with planning and stationary materials. Have a sparkle-rific year, everyone!